Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Disturbed Penguin Podcast. As always, this is Xavier Penguin, and we're trying uh, something a little different uh, here today. I'm actually up at work, and you know, of course, there's no one here except for, for me and everything. Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying the recordings here, one of which, it, it'll, it'll be <clears throat> a little bit cleaner of a sound and whatnot, and where I can actually just relax and, and do whatever. So, yeah, um, yeah, I'm good on battery. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't have my can of Coke today. Usually I open up with a can of Coke, but I've got a bottle of soda, you know, like, you can hear the, uh, the bottle unscrew and whatnot. That's still a good Coke. So, hopefully this will be the format that we go with. It'll be a lot quieter and, and much more cleaner. And I think maybe with this one, I might find a free podcasting kind of site. I don't mind putting it up on YouTube. I really don't. Um, I just figure I might want to try to give other people options and, and see what they want to be able to listen to instead of having to pull up YouTube all the time, but I got some topics to discuss today. This might be um, an episode, episode podcast that's a little longer than normal, because one, I'm not just restricted to about 20, 25 minutes at a time driving from home to work, so that, that'll that be cool, and, and there might be some times where you'll, you'll hear some clicks, and that's because I'm pausing the uh, recording because I have to take care of a customer so I, I do have that that I have to do and, and then at that point I've got to remember where did I leave off at you know um, I left off at this topic <laughs> uh, speaking of topics um, got some neat stuff to talk about uh, one of which is um, is our uh, Archibald Adventures reboot series that I've got going on Uh, In case uh, y'all don't know, uh, a while back I had emailed the developer of Archibald's Adventures, and I asked him, I go, hey, uh, do you mind if I, you know, do you mind if I do a recording of uh, of your video, do a Let's Play? Because I've seen it played, I've played it before, I won't exactly say how, but, and I said that, you know, I would buy the game, and, and, you know, I would use this for a, a charity kind of thing. And the developer was like, sure, yeah, you can, and bam, here's your free key. I'm like, whoa, whoa, dude, I, I appreciate that, but you didn't have to give me a, a key. He goes, don't worry, I want to help you out. I'm like, okay, cool. So I, I still feel bad that I got a free key from him because I want to be able to support the game. I want to support the developer too, and it's just like, <laughs> come on, guy, you're throwing off my groove. You're throwing off my game here. You know, come on, guy. Come on, guy. So, a, about a couple years ago, maybe about a year and a half ago, I started a, a Let's Play of Archibald's Adventures, and I I didn't get very far. And at the time, I had um, I was donating like a dollar every time I died, which is fine. You know, it was donated to Child's Play Charity. A charity that gets books, toys, and games to kids in hospitals around the world. So I I did that, but then money started to become tight, so I had to let that one go, and it sucked. I, I didn't like that I had to do that. Because I, I like to donate. I like to give to this charity. I mean, it's a fun charity to go with and, and things like that. Well, I finally got a... You know, finally got a wild hair up my ass, and and I started to to redo this, and I I started calling it a reboot. So with this reboot, the name of the game is Archibald's Adventures. The series name is Archibald's Adventures Reboot, as in a reboot series. I didn't want to start the series, you know, right where I left off at, because I would be completely lost. I'm like, no, I don't want to deal with that. But this time around, I've made it to where it's a little bit easier for me to donate. Still have a little bit of money issues, but I'm I'm doing all right. 
So, I like to buy stupid shit. <laughs> you know, spend money. Uh, pay bills, student loans, um, <laughs> all that nasty bad stuff. So, I, 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 I'm doing it again. But this time, I think I'll be able to stick through it. It's not on an every week basis. It's on an every other week basis. And on the weeks that I'm not doing my Archibald's Adventures reboot, you've got me here doing the podcast. <laughs> so that actually gives me some things uh, over a week and a half or so period to, to talk about things and, and whatnot. But we've raised quite a bit of money so far. You know, and we as in me donating and you watching and things like that. And again, I appreciate all the views. The so far, we've been able to raise out of what four episodes. Let's see, there's episode one was the first one, two. Crap. All right, no, uh, how many episodes? Yeah, four episodes. Okay, cool. And couldn't remember. Um, out of four episodes, uh, we have raised sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. So that is amazing. Um, I think it's probably a little bit more than what I did last time. Uh, to give you a rundown on what we've done thus far, um, I, I'm including just a, a minimum donation of $10. And for every death or restart that I happen to do, I will donate $0.50. Cents. Now, all of this is getting placed on uh, farlandsorbust.com to Kurt J. Max fundraiser for Child's Play Charity. Um, I'm hoping that by me doing this, uh, I know Cone Dodger 240. Uh, you can find him on YouTube. Great guy, by the way, awesome guy. I want to play a game with him. Um, he was doing something with his iRacing racing series, and uh, was donating money for like if he failed to do something or uh, if he lost um, places while he was racing and things like that. And so he was also donating to. Uh, farlandsorbust.com through the Child's Play uh, charity widget, which that inspired me to do this. I figured, hey, you know, get back in the donating game. And so, right now, I have died or restarted a total of 45 times. Um, yeah, 45 times total. I'm looking at my stats here. I try to keep a track of my stats on how many I died in that episode. Uh, the donation per death equals out of total, then the minimum donation, and add that to the current session, um, and then total donated, you know, total donated for that session, things like that. Um, I I think it's neat. Maybe I'm just being a little over analytical, <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, so far sixty two dollars and fifty cents and oh my goodness, where I'm at now, let's see, World Three so next week, next Wednesday, I'll be doing World Three levels nine through fourteen, and then the two special levels at the end. From here it's only gonna get harder. Because I believe I've gotten every little uh enhancement, every little um ability that I can do for the meantime, uh, climbing on metal walls, I got a magnet that I can latch up to a wall or a, or a ceiling, uh, so yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that that's, it's only going to get harder from here, it, it's only going to get harder, and that means more money donated to Child's Play Charity. If it gets to a point, and I believe I've said this in a video, maybe not clear as I want it to be, if I do, if it does get to be way too much, I'm going to cut the minimum donation from 10 to 5. Um, because I die a lot. Like this last session. Well, the session before that, I died, what, 8 times. Okay, no problem. This time around was 18. So, yeah, it's going to get pretty rough from here on out. Um, I have a feeling. I'll, I'll judge that based on what I do. I, I don't know yet. It's just something that was running through my mind. Like, oh, hey, why don't I do it this way? <laughs> or whatever. So that's cool. Speaking of video games, 
and on my channel. Um, you've, uh, you guys have probably noticed that I've been playing uh, a couple of games called, well, they're in the, uh, the Shantae series. Back when the Game Boy Color, sorry, I was stretching. Back when the Game Boy Color, uh, came out, um, a company by the, uh, by the name of Way Forward created a game called Shantae. I have not played that one. Again, it's on Game Boy Color. And I don't have a legit way of playing that game and recording it without getting in trouble. And I'm not going to do it. That requires extra hardware. I don't think I can handle that. So, I haven't played that one. But it tells the story of a, of a genie that has to save her town called Scuttletown. That's basically the gist of it. Well, um... Uh, half a year ago, I, I think, I guess, I played a game called Shantae's Risky's Revenge, Director's Cut. And it's an updated version of the Shantae game, plus a little bit more story. I did a lot of voice acting in that one. And I just, I like doing stupid little voices. I mean, it, it's something I do. Even outside of recording myself or just... You know, yeah, recording uh, stuff for YouTube. I do voices all the time. I'm, I've got one voice that sends my coworker into a small giggle, because she's like, "All right, that's creepy. Stop it." You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. I, right now, I'm not fully awake. That's why my voice is uh, a little bit lower, lower than normal. <clears throat> so, I haven't. I'm not going to do it. But. I played through that game, did a lot of voices for all the characters, or as much as that I could come across and had a story for, and I enjoyed it. It was fun. So, I beat the game. I know I didn't get 100% or whatever, but I beat the game. And that's what I do on my YouTube. I, I play a game to beat it. I don't necessarily have to get everything. I want to know the story. I don't have to. G I don't get story if I have to collect everything. Peace. Whatever. Let's move on. <laughs> so, the the game I'm playing now is called Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Where this time around, the normal main villain is not the main villain. Typically, that's Risky Boots. Well, this time, the villain is the Pirate Master. You know, what um, you, you eventually learn, and I believe I learned it this last episode, that Risky's mentor was the Pirate Master on how, on how uh, Risky got to be who she is. And there's other storyline in there, and it's a really, really good story. Uh, Way Forward has done a great job on creating a good story. And the thing that gets me, I, I'm, I'm still doing the voices. You know, I, I can't do a girl's voice, obviously. I mean, I probably could, but I would sound like I've had a sex change. <laughs> and I'm like, no. So I'll just take my voice and make it softer. And that's the voice I'm using for Shantae. Um, the main character. <clears throat> so it's like, so instead of my normal lower voice, I, I've got a softer voice, and I'm doing it this way, and this is how I perceive Shantae to sound if she had a lower voice and and everything else. And so, and, and that's what I do. The, what is it? Uh, Risky Boots. Her voice has changed. Um, I believe on uh, Risky's Revenge, I tried to make her sound like Queen Beryl <laughs> from Sailor Moon, the Japanese uh, edition. Not the English voice acting, the Japanese voice acting. And it sounded quite dumb. So I'm like, well, if she's a pirate and a female, I want her to sound... British, because you got to love a British bad guy. I mean, come on. Um, 
so I do my as best as I can. I know I'm a typical dumb American that thinks all British people sound like this. The way they have to talk and everything like that is just fantastic and all that jazz and whatnot. So I believe that that Risky Boots sounds very similar to this, but with a little higher pitch. So, Shantae, what do you think? You know, something like that. I, if I'm sitting at the computer, I'll, I'll be able to do, to do her voice, to do her voice. I, oh, how does it go? It's more on what my friend, uh, my pilot, I call him my pilot. I'm not going to give you his name. Um, does for our D&D uh, &D campaign. Uh, it's on hiatus right now because one of our members is um, is not able to make it. And we're not pulling a mark from the gamers. We're not just going to drag them along and get half, you know, XP and whatnot. That, that's just mean. Because D&D is about the acting and the things like that. Anyway, move that thought along to the side. Push that thought aside, penguin. Um... My 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 friend, my pilot, he he does a voice for what he calls the Dowager. The Dowager is like this all all knowing, sarcastic old son of a bitch of a lady. I want to say snarky. Snarky would be a better word instead of bitch. Snarky, and she sounds very prim and proper. Like I'm the Dowager, you will make me my tea. And if I don't have it right now, then consequences will occur. I want my tea right now. But obviously with a more feminine, as feminine as my pilot can get. As best as he can, I, <clears throat> I guess. So, I think I try to pawn it off as that, but with... Just go watch the series. Just <laughs> I can't do it right now. I don't know why. I think if I had dialogue for Risky, because Shantae is that's easy, uh, but Risky, I think I have to see her dialogue in order to get her voice. To me, that makes sense. Ah, go ram it. Yeah, sorry about that. Phone ring. I'll probably leave that small little bit in there of me saying, ah, go ram it, whatever. Anyway, but I, I do like to do the, the voice acting. It's It's fun. I know my, my fiance because I record in the same room that, that she's in. You know, I've got my Razer Kraken 7.1 Pro USB headset on, and I use that microphone. And you may have heard her, you know, hear a couple of, <clears throat> or a lot of clicks in the background. Uh, and that's, that's typically her. But I like to do the voice acting. She may laugh at me, though. <laughs> I don't care. I think it's fun. So, I decided that, I guess I'll try my hand at it. Uh, what was it? Um, about, uh, about two or three days ago, uh, Super MC Gamer, um, part of the Minecraft crew that I, that I follow, uh, had put up a video that really piqued my interest, and I'll, I'll have the, I'll try to have the video description, uh, or the video linked. Uh, in the description, wherever YouTube decides to put it, or I might put a link in the video. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something, or I might show a clip of it, whatever, I don't know. And saying that he's holding a contest for Zeldathon to become the next announcer for Zeldathon. I'm like, oh, oh. Well, I need to try this. I need to see if I can get it. <clears throat> and, and I've had other people. Maybe, maybe it's people being nice to me. Maybe, maybe people are telling the truth. But I've had people, real life friends that I meet on a daily basis, and people that I've come across as customers or people that I've talked to online. Um, and things like that, or people that have heard me speak through my videos have told me uh, uh, on, on a few occasions 
Excuse me, man, why is my throat so scratchy? <clears throat> Jeez Louise. I don't know why my throat's so froggy. Hello, I'm a frog. I'm in your throat. I'm going to make it difficult for you to speak. Deal with me. <laughs> Spur of the moment. Right off the cuff there, penguin. Right off the cuff. Drinky time of my Coca-Cola. So I decided that I would go ahead and do the contest. Are you pulling in? No, you're from the shop. Okay. Um, I decided that I would go ahead and apply for the contest. So I'm like, eh, I tweeted out, yeah, I think I'm going to try something. It's for a charity and voice acting. I wonder. And um, Cone Dodger, 240. I'm just going to call him Cone Dodger or Cone because it's just easier to say. And you'll, you'll find his information in the description. I, I will put that there too. So you can go check him out. He's a really, really cool guy. So if you want to know things about cars, racing games, general overall cool things with cars, even working on his own, then go check him out. Real, real cool guy. Real cool guy. Um, I, um, uh, he goes, well, hey, if you need any help, you know, if you want something to bounce ideas off of, hit me up. I'm like, all right. So I created a, a small, about maybe minute, minute and a half audio file of me announcing. But I, and he's right too. I, I sounded too much or tried to emulate sounding like Xander Mobius. Uh, Xander Mobius was or currently still is, the announcer for the latest Super Smash Brothers on the DS as well as the Wii U, I believe. And so it, it that's his voice. So if you hear Pikachu, Captain Falcon, you know, that that's him. So Zeldathon this last time, uh, Zeldathon Water? No. Shit, what was the latest Zeldathon? Dang it, one second. I, now that's going to bug me. Learn how to type, Penguin. Zeldathon Deluxe. That's what that was. Um, and if I'm not mistaken... Do, do, do. Come on, keep going. I just want the latest one. Come on, people. Oh, that's... No, I, I don't want that. Um, Zelda Deluxe. No! Son of a... Does this say where it went to? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, yeah. So, Zelda uh charity or it was called Zedathon Deluxe but it was for Charity Water uh, an organization that gets that goes out and helps drill uh, water wells in places that that need water and teaches the the people there how to maintain the uh, the equipment and things like that like over in Uganda and, and all that good jazz so that's um they got Xander to do that well, apparently they are retiring him <laughs> from doing the announcing and are looking for other people. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to try it. So uh, I reached out to Cone, gave him a, about a minute, minute and a half recording. He goes, yeah, you sound too much like Xander. Stop that. Be unique. So I tried something. And I did a couple of different voices, different accents. And he goes, it's better, but it, you need to sound more assertive. So I went through and did, because I, I did something with an accent, then a normal voice. Accent with a normal voice. So that way they can hear who I am. You know, I don't want to be known as just a voice. You know, hey, you know, I'm Xavier Penguin, and I'm a fantastic voice, and I can you can use me for your commercial. I can't speak worth a worth a damn in good English, but hey, I'm right here and I can announce your commercial product. You know, you know I'm not going to be that guy. <laughs> that guy. So, 
I went through and I tried to sound more, more assertive, more like demanding without being so. I guess you could say, I don't know. I, I tweeted out if anyone wanted to hear what I did, they can just click on a link. I just look through my latest Twitter post and you'll see it. Um, I believe I did. If not, if you guys want to listen to it, let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put up a description, a uh, description, description, ping, uh, put up a, a link for you guys to listen to it. But I, uh, I did that. So now got to wait till October 17th, which is in about 10 more days, 10 agonizing days, because I would, I, I think I would probably shit kittens if, uh, if I got this. And I, I think that would be really fun to do. I wouldn't get paid for it. I know I wouldn't. I don't care. But to be able to say that I was able to participate in a charity kind of event and have my voice out there saying, hey, <laughs> like, uh, next up on Zeldathon, a link to the past with Lizardu, or however I'm going to be saying it, I don't know. I think that would just be awesome. Now, I won't get into Hollywood for it. I won't be able to do anything like that. But still, I, it, it would be awesome. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm looking too deep into it. Maybe I'm getting my hopes up. I know I'm not going to be like you know Rob Paulson or, or Billy West or, hell, Mark Hamill for, for their voice acting. But I, I think it would be really neat. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting sentimental, I I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. However, that brings me to my next topic of Zeldathon. Zeldathon is coming up, coming up on uh, December 27th, so start saving your moolah, start saving your monies, because we gotta donate, donate to get the games played, and that is going to be awesome. Um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out, oh, oh. is that it, oh, oh. alright, so, we gotta start saving money, because, remember, with the way they've got it now, is that for, they have donation goals, and the donation goals say, hey, you know, this is a game, if you want us to play this game, reach this amount. And last year, they surpassed it. Um, one guy, I, I can't remember his name, but he was the, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, and um, bless, bless him. <laughs> uh, that's just, what he did at that time was just phenomenal. Uh, they broke their, their record on the most amount of money raised, um, for Zeldathon did. And that was just amazing. But this year's Zeldathon is called Zeldathon Hope. Uh, Zeldathon Hope, uh, well, not Zeldathon Hope, but Help. Uh, meh. If I could learn how to speak properly today. Oh my goodness. Um, the name Zeldathon Hope comes from an organization called Help Hope Live. It's a national nonprofit organization and their mission, kind of reading it from their website, helphopelive.org, is uh, to support community-based fundraising for people with unmet medical and related expenses due to cell and organ transplants or catastrophic injuries and illnesses. So basically, whenever we donate our gift to them, helps them provide assistance to people who need it most in a meaningful, intangible way. So, I don't know what Super MC Gamer and crew have planned for this Zeldathon. I know I'll be watching it, so I don't know. I'll, I'll try to chat. <laughs> I'm just too busy watching the game, <laughs> having it on in the background while I play another game because I like to hear the shenanigans. I like to hear certain games being played. Uh, geez, what was it? Earlier this year they had that Zeldathon charity. 
I was uh, I was a mess. <laughs> uh, the Zelda Zelda Thon Deluxe, rather. I was a mess. I was up at all hours of the night just watching. I mean, the, this toward the end of this year is very exciting because there's all kinds of things happening. One for October right now, the second year in a row, we've got co-stars uh, scream a day where co-star plays a uh, horror game or a horror themed game, Halloweenish game uh, every day of October. We've got uh, what's in November? Thanksgiving. Have we got Thanksgiving in November? No, um, just announced. Um, the Minecraft Marathon will be happening in November. And then in December, we have Zeldathon. So it's like three months of, oh my goodness, I don't have enough time in the day to watch all this kind of thing <laughs> going on. So yeah, it's, it, it's definitely a busy month for a lot of people. And for me, just watching and trying to support when I can. But this year is Zeldathon Hope. And we're going to be running, uh, we, as I'm, we as in the audience of watching Zeldathon are going to be helping to get this uh, nonprofit organization, this charity money to, to help people out. So I encourage all to start saving your money. Let's donate to a good cause, to quite a few good causes coming up. One, farlanderbus.com. Uh, to donate to Child's Play Charity uh, with Kurt J. Mack. I'm doing that uh, through my Archibald Adventures reboot. Uh, if you ever hear a question on Farlands or Bust, whenever you watch Kurt, that's because I donated. Um, donated uh, and with a question. Uh, he has a backlog of questions, so he hasn't gotten to mine yet. And I even told him, I go, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing. You don't have to announce it. I don't need to be publicized. I just want to donate to using you now if he happens to mention it i'm not going to be upset it's just that i don't need to be publicized for this i, I don't need to be exalted hey look at xavier penguin he's doing a good thing for charity you know let's give him high praise oh that's fantastic son what do you got to say for yourself don't praise me you praise you know people donating to the charity you know, I'm I'm just a guy playing a video game and having fun at it. I suck at it, but I'm having fun. Um, but that's that's uh, that's going on. We've got um, the Minecraft Marathon. Like I said, in November they will be doing something with the Extra Life charity, and then we've got the uh, Zeldathon in December 27th. That's going to be going to help Hope Live. All kinds of money to donate. All kinds of things for charity to do. And it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm going to lose a lot of sleep during December into January. <laughs> now, I swear, I don't know why they're doing it for December the 27th all the way up to, like, you know, probably through New Year's Eve. I'm sorry, MC Gamer, Zeldathon crew. I, I've got priorities for New Year's Eve. Sorry, um, I, I got friends that, that want to drink and have fun and ring in the new year, and I got a woman to kiss to ring in the new year, so it's, I've got to do that, but on, you know, New Year's Day, while I'm recovering, I could watch and have fun, so yeah, that's what you get, what, <laughs> okay, I think it's getting time to the point where I'm just rambling on at the moment. And I don't know what else to say. Uh, right now, um, oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I had mentioned that while I get questions, I haven't gotten any yet. There's no questions here. But if you ever want to send me a question that, uh, that you want me to answer, um, if you look at your screen, you'll see something pop up. Send me an email. To Xavier.penguin at disturbed hyphen penguin dot net uh, with the subject line of podcast questions, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to answer them. So if you can, by all means, give me something else to talk about without me having to create my own 
my own shiz, my own shiz knit, and all that jazz. I had mentioned that last time I'm going to take the questions that I'm asking Kurt and see if I can't answer them. So the the one question I asked, uh, where's it at? I need to make a screenshot of that. Uh, the first question I had asked, and then we'll go ahead and end it out here, was uh, what was your favorite drink of choice as a child? What was your favorite food? And if you went out to eat, what was your favorite place to eat as a kid or as a child? And he had mentioned some things. Uh, pretty good, you know. My favorite drink of choice as a child... <laughs> You know, I, I, I want to say tea, and it still is to this day. I know growing up, probably when I was little, I had, like, you know, the Kool-Aid and things like that. But my favorite drink that I can really fondly remember would have to be tea. And I brew it the same way that my mom did whenever she made it. Now, man, I, I, I'm trying to emulate what my mom did, and I think I've got it nailed down pretty good. Um... We used just a regular coffee pot, and that's how we brewed our tea. Um, I think um, we used regular Lipton tea bags, and at some points, if we got the large tea bags, like the you know large tea bags, we would put two of those in the coffee pot, well, coffee filter area, not the pot itself. Um, we would do that, or if we used the regular small tea bags we would do uh, about five of them. Well, right now, I am doing seven, because apparently I like a strong tea as I've gotten older. <laughs> so I like a, a strong tea. But the way I do it is I'll brew it through once. I'll, I'll fill the coffee pot with hot water, pour it into the reservoir, put the tea bags in the, the coffee filter area. I don't put a coffee filter down. I just put the tea bags in, and I brew it. All right, and I let it sit there for, huh, how long? Anywhere, I guess it depends on what time of day or what I'm doing, but typically I'll let it sit for about an hour to about an hour 15 minutes to, after it's done brewing, to sit there and basically simmer within the coffee pot. And that turns the, the the tea to a very dark. I want to say Mabel, Mabel, uh, maybe a a mahogany brown, burnt sienna, but darker in color, you know that kind of color, and that just for me it just brings out the richness of of the tea. Put that into a gallon pitcher, then I brew it through a second time. And then only let that sit for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then put it all together. And I mix about two cups of sugar. Yes, two cups. Into this pitcher. And then I drink it. Usually I'll drink it hot. That's my preferred taste. I love my tea hot. And I remember doing that growing up. But after a while, mom started to not put as much sugar in it. And I started to you know, kind of back away from it. Because I like the sweetness of it. Yeah, it's it's like molasses <laughs> at that point. It's very similar to it. Uh, but it's good. I, I love it. That was my favorite drink of choice uh, growing up. My favorite food? Oh, hands down, macaroni, cheese, and tuna. Macaroni and cheese with tuna. That was my jam. Still is my jam. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are probably thinking, man, you put tuna in your macaroni and cheese? Well, yes. Uh, well, you don't put hot dogs or green peas in your macaroni and cheese? No. No. Fuck that. No. <laughs> I don't mind a hot dog in there, you know, if it's, you know, I guess cut up. It's not my thing. I'll eat around it. But my jam is the, uh, is the tuna with a side of fish sticks. Yes, it's an odd, odd combination, but man, is it tasty. Uh, we use just the regular Velveeta or Kraft macaroni and cheese. doesn't matter. Um, and what I do a little differently 
is whenever I mix in the cheese that comes with it, I usually add an additional slice of cheese. So that way it's it's nice and cheesy and um, has a good bite to it. Uh, the tuna that I use would be the uh, Bumblebee Solid White Albacore in Water. To me, that's, that, that tuna tastes better than the regular tuna in oil. Ugh, that stuff looks like... Uh, it's pink and brown and very slimy looking. And I we had that at one point at home. And it's just like... Oh. It, it was... I guess there are people that like like that kind of thing. Sorry, I had to stretch again. I guess there are people that like that kind of flavor, but it's just too potent of a flavor. I no. No, thank you. Um but that that was that's my favorite food of choice hands down. Now if we went out to eat, what was my favorite place? I actually had two places. Uh, one of which, McDonald's, growing up as a kid. Because I love the chicken nuggets. Oh my goodness, and, and <laughs> funny story about that. Uh, are you pulling in? No, okay. Funny story about chicken nuggets. At one point, I guess I was sick or something, or whatever. I don't remember exactly, but I remember mom telling me, that I wouldn't eat my food. We had gotten chicken nuggets. And she tricked me into saying that my chicken nuggets were cookies. And apparently I was gullible enough <laughs> as a kid to say, oh, well, if those are cookies, I like cookies, I got to eat these. And I think that's where the love of where the love of uh, chicken nuggets comes into play. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay. But no, the chicken nuggets were my favorite. The next one, the other place was Pizza Hut. Actually going in to Pizza Hut. Uh, at school we had a program, and you guys might remember it, to the Book It program. That if you read books and everything, then you got to go in, uh, depending on how many books you read, if you got like enough stars on your button, then you got a free like personal pan pizza or something like that. And I was reading a lot at that time. And I, I, that was my favorite place to go was to eat at Pizza Hut. Going in at the little bitty buffet, getting the breadsticks and some sauce and then them bringing out the freshly cooked pizza out to you. It's, I haven't been inside a Pizza Hut in years and... I almost want to go there for supper, but I've got Fazoli's waiting on me, so that's going to be fantastic. That is a weird-ass band. Sorry. <laughs> you guys aren't seeing what I'm seeing. <laughs> I had a dog on top of it. Invisible fence with a big plastic golden retriever sitting down on top of the van. Um, yeah. So that is uh, one of the questions that I have asked Mr. Kurt J. Mack, and he went ahead and responded. So again, thank you, Kurt, for for responding to my weird questions that I happen to come up with. So remember, y'all, take um, take note of next week is a new uh, Archibald's Adventures uh, reboot. Uh, we're doing a le World Three levels nineteen, oh nineteen, level nine through fourteen, then the two additional levels. Uh, you'll see that on uh, on Wednesday. Along with uh, with uh, with how much we've died and how much we've donated and things like that. By all means, check out uh, the people I mentioned uh, here, uh, Mr. Kurt J. Mack, at his channel, youtube.com slash Kurt J. Mack. Or find him on his website, farlandsorbust.com. Uh, find Cone Dodger, uh, youtube.com slash Cone Dodger 240 as well as SuperMCGamer, uh, youtube.com slash SuperMCGamer. Uh, I gotta check that out. My voice is lilting higher and higher. Yes, 
But yeah, youtube.com slash super MC gamer. Uh, find all of them there. You can tell them I sent you, but they'll be like, who are you talking about? <laughs> but go there, check them out. They're good people. Good people. Indeed. 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 <laughs> What's wrong with me? Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for listening. I appreciate uh, all the feedback that I've been getting on some of my videos and and things like that. I try to respond to anything that comes across my desk uh, in terms of a comment, so that way I can you know, hopefully get more viewers, but to interact with the people that actually think I'm halfway decent and worth watching. <laughs> Self-deprecating. Yay. <laughs> anyway... I'd like to thank you for, for listening, uh, if you're listening or watching a, a blank screen on your computer. My name is Xavier Penguin, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.